So if somebody told you that you had to decide between having the lights go on in your house or the water run in your house, you wouldn't think that that should be a logical choice between electricity and water. But in fact, it can be. And it can be because there's a huge relationship between energy and water. There's huge amounts of water used to produce energy, and there's huge amounts of energy used to move and transport water to your home as well as energy that's used inside the home to heat that water for your dishwasher or your washing machine or anything else. Um, so what we tried to do at Environmental Defense Fund is try to understand the relationship between energy and water here in Texas. And we've just completed a report with the University of Texas that quantifies that relationship. And it seems that there's actually a very big relationship in Texas, which is what we predicted. What the report has shown us in addition to what that relationship is, is what else is needed uh, both in data and in policy to make sure that water and energy are sustainable through time in Texas. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to start planning energy and water together instead of separately as it has been in the past. And secondly, there's a lot of data gaps in, in, the, um, in both the energy and the water sectors that need to be filled. And the reason that the data gaps are there is because that relationship hasn't been understood in the past. But if we go into the future thinking of these two things as actually one integrated system, it's going to protect Texas better um, going into the future. Please check out our new report at edf.org slash Texas Energy Water Nexus, all one word.